in this lesson, we're going to start talking about similar and congruent figures. They're both related, but yet distinctly different. The first item we're going to talk about is congruent. Congruent means equal. They are interchangeable words. Congruent shape means they're equal in size and they have equal angles, which means the measure of the angles would be the same. So for instance, if I would tell you that these two are congruent, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. That means that if this side was three, the corresponding side, which I'm going to get to in a second, if the left side's three, then this left side must also be three. If the bottom was five, this side must also be five in order for things to be congruent. It means this shape is exactly the same size as this shape. Now I mentioned the idea of corresponding. Corresponding is what one piece of an object is in the same location but in a different object or different shape. So for instance, if I asked you, what is the corresponding angle to angle A in this shape? Well, this is on the bottom left, so the corresponding piece would be angle D. If I would say side CB, side CB or segment CB, what is the corresponding segment over here? If it is segment CB, then it would be named in the same order. CB, the corresponding would be FE. Notice that corresponding will be the same lettering order. If I would say CB, then I would say FE. So let's try one real quick. What is corresponding to B? I'm going to use a different marker. BCA, triangle. BCA, Correspond, uh, corresponding, we're going to put equals with a straight line underneath, wavy equal signs with a straight line underneath. That's the congruent symbol. We're going to use it for corresponding. Not to get too confusing here. So order matters. So if I say triangle BCA, BCA, I have to say the same ordering over here. So B matches up corresponding with E. So I would say triangle BCA is congruent and corresponding with triangle E, F, D. If I would go that way, I would have to go the same that way. So this is congruent shapes. Same exact objects, same size, same angles. Now a little different than this is a similar figure. Similar means it's not equal in size, but it must be proportional. It must be the same ratio. And we'll talk about that in a second. The angles will end up being equal. And again, I could say what's corresponding in this picture. What corresponds with B? Corresponding would be E. If I would say ACB, what would be corresponding with ACB? Think of it in your head. It would be DFE. What corresponds with side AB? What is corresponding with the side 6? That's right, DE, segment DE or E. What corresponds with 4? 4 corresponds with the X. So we ask ourselves, okay, if this is a similar figure, it means it's the same ratio. 6 is to 4 as 8 is to something. So now the question is, if it's proportional, how would I figure out what the X is? What we're going to do is take items we know. I need a ratio. 6 is to 4. 6, again the red is not working. 6 is to 4 equals. Now I could label in. I'm going to hold off on labels now just to save a little time. 6 is to 4. I could have done 4 is to 6, but my, my labels have to match, so to speak. So in my head, my label is side, left side, 6 is to 8. Match it up with the corresponding piece. 6 is to 8. 6 is to 8 as 4 is to x. 4 is to x. Now that I have my proportion written, I go through my proportion to solve. Again, kids will want to say, but I can multiply across. Okay, you can, but you spend a lot of time 
okay, six times what gets me eight? Or eight divided by six gives me how much? I know it's a little extra writing by using cross products, but it's less thinking as far as confusing thoughts, so I'm just going to multiply. Six times eight, 32, equals six times x is six x. I have an equation. Kids will say, but I can multiply and divide. That's fine. But when we solve multiply equations, we did not use division. We multiplied by reciprocals. Multiply by reciprocal to, reciprocal to get rid of the 6. 1 over 6. The 6's go away. I'm left with x. On this side, 1 over 6. 32 over 1, I can reduce. Reduce both by 2. 3 and 16. I don't need a decimal. I don't need to do 3 into 16. I can make a mixed number. 3 goes into 16 five times. I'm left with 1 third. Okay. Double check my calculating here. Half of 32, 16. Half of 6, 3. 3 goes in. I think this is right. So what does this mean? That means 6 is to 8 the same as 4 is to 5 and one-third. Congruent figures equal equal. Things correspond, match up, identically, what corner with what corner. Similar figures. Same proportion or same ratio, but they are not equal in size. If they were equal in size, they would be congruent. Similar is not the same as congruent. That's it.